What's going on with YouTube? It's your main man Fortress, and we're back again with another video, man. Big shout out to everybody out there that is tuning in and rocking out with us, man. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that like button, like and subscribe, comment down below because that helps this channel to grow to a whole nother level. Whether you're a veteran in the game or this could be your rookie season in cop and sneakers, this could be the channel for you. Because we do sneaker reviews, we do on feeds, we do sneaker news, we buy shoes, we sell shoes, man, we do all sorts of good things on this channel, and oh, so much more. So remember, if you like the content, to cut, if you like the content that you find on this channel, then share it with a friend. And remember, your mama taught you. If you don't got nothing nice to say, then hey, man, let's get back into it. Because fortunes is a finesse, and nothing less than the man. Y'all know what it is, man. Hey, what's going on with y'all? I left y'all alone yesterday. I really did want to do a video, but I said, man, these guys are chilling out with their friends and family. So, man, we appreciate y'all so much for tuning in and your love and support. So, man, what is going on with y'all? Man, we got to talk about this Drake situation. I've been waiting all day to talk about this situation. Okay, so we got Drake versus the world versus everybody right now. But here's the thing, though. Is it, is it real? That's what I that's what I really wanted to know. Is it real or are they just kind of doing this? You know how sometimes artists do, they do a little bit of Wendy's beef. They go around beefing and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was funny because today I was reminiscing over some of the, the good old days of Rap City. Rap City the basement and Big Tigger. You know, and it was in, in the in, in, you know, it was a completely different style it was a completely different style of rap the way they did it back in the 2000s man fast forward to where we are now man you got guys beefing and it's completely different you know it's i still remember cameron being in in rap city the basement i still remember uh red man being in you know the basement with big tigger man and so man i really do appreciate and reminisce on those times man i actually had to watch a youtube video just to get the full effect and see what's named Busy Bone doing a freestyle, man. It was crazy. But anyway, man, we're just going to touch on this a little bit because we don't want to take too much time. But, I mean, man, you got Kendrick Lamar. Everybody's waiting for his comeback rebuttal. And then apparently Drake dropped a, you know, a rebuttal joint. But, man, I mean, I kind of feel like, man, they had to look it up to make sure it was AI. If it was AI generated. Now, that is crazy that where we are in this time stream of the technology, of artificial intelligence, of you got to figure out, and back then that never existed. You didn't have, you know, guys using auto-tune and artificial intelligence and people saying people wrote their songs. But, but here's the crazy thing, though, man. The way how I found out this stuff was real, because I feel like this. All those guys have worked with Drake. Those guys, Drake has worked with those guys. Each side benefited. You know, in one of his songs, he said, man, I threw them the alley-oop, but when I see them in public, they don't say nothing. But I kind of feel like, man, Drake was definitely it, you know, for so long. And, and when they asked people, they asked people, I, I was watching a video, man. They said, are you team Drake or team Kendrick? And, man, you got to give some, put some respect on both of those guys, man, because what's name? I still remember what Kendrick did on that Black Panther album, man. I, I, it was some fire, bro. It was some fire. But, I mean, pretty much most of Kendrick's albums are fire, man. I mean, pretty much all of them. But, you know, that's besides the fact, because I think they got to look at this economically. Because, like you said, this could affect so much because you got Drake making the song with, um, you know, the boss, Rick Ross, Ashton Martin Music. Man, I had a bunch of Ashton Martin Music today, man. You saying we ain't never going to get another song with Drake and Rick Ross on the side? Okay, man. Well, this ain't that kind of channel, but we just did have to touch on that a little bit. So you team Drake or team Kendrick? I'm just playing, y'all. Man, let's get back into it, man. We got some shoes today, man. Hold on. We got, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the wrong shoe. These are these are being fully restored. Man, but I got these from Nike, bro. I got them straight from that. No, nah, man. I had to get these online, and I had to do a little scrubby, scrubby, scrubby. And remember, thanks to my respect your shoes, man. Come on. You got to the MGK. Where y'all at, man? 
Do you, is y'all using the cleaner? Is y'all using the cleaner? Well, anyway, man, we got this unboxing today. Enough of the rap news, man. Did, did y'all ever watch Rap City, man? I still think they need to figure out a way to bring that show back because that, that joint was ahead of its time. So anyway, man, we got this unboxing today, man. I left y'all alone yesterday, so I figured we had to get back in style with the unboxing. So, man, we know there's the running craze. So, man, I had to pick up a running shoe. This was a key. I think it was a key model. So, it's one of one. We got the weapon of choice here. And, I mean, come on now. We had to figure out and say, all right, are the running models shoes taking over? I mean, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got here in the box. But, I mean, yeah, the running shoes are popular. You got like the Asics joints, you got the Nike Vimeros that are doing pretty good. But this one's, oh, the New Balance. That's another one that's really good. So yeah, this is definitely a key model. And it happens to be in my size. All right, man, let's check this out. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right, man. So, okay, here we go. So. All right, so man, we got a pair of Adidas, man. All right, so this was a key model. I'm pretty sure this is a display model. I've been picking these up. It's been very, very rare. They've been having like one. So not two, but one. I, I wanted to get this shoe in my size and they only had it in a 10 and a half. And so I finally, finally, after watching, watching, waiting for a restock, they didn't really do a restock, but they just sold the floor model. A size 13 finally came in and I bought it. And within seconds, it was sold out once again. So, without further ado, color blocking reads. We have an NMD G1, US size 13, UK size 12 and a half. Color blocking is aluminum, alumin, and magbi. Let's check it out, check it. Oh, baby. Oh, ho, ho. remember y'all, we only had these in a size 10 and a half, and now we got them in a size 13. Bam! Okay, so we have here, oh man, we even got some shoe inserts. Okay, y'all, so this was possibly a display model. Ooh, wee! All right, I don't wear running shoes, but when I do, it's NMDs and G1s, let's go! Bam! Okay, so y'all, I know y'all might not be into runners, but man, I mean, yo, for real, for real though, I've been trying to get this shoe for several months, and again, once again, I bought it in a 10 and a half, and I sold the 10 and a half. This is in my size, so I still do have a nine and a half in the NMDG1s, so this is the aluminum gold tan joints. These are super rare, super hard to get. And now they're pretty much all sold out and they are not making any more. So on the Adidas stripes, we do have a 3M hits on the side there. And look at that material, that Lycra going across the side. This pair is actually better than some of the other ones that I've gotten. We got two uh, parts on the midsole that represent this brand with three stripes. Okay, Adidas logo right there on the side. We do have a suede back hit, back tab. This is this is a nice new buck beige here. And we do have shoe trees on the insole, on the insides there. So this shoe is super comfortable, super breathable. And what I do like about Adidas is a lot of the insoles of the Adidas are made with recyclable materials. Because I also had a TR Racer 1, and those are really good. And those are also made with a memory foam insole and also um, made with recyclable materials as well. So this is the aluminum tan slash gold. These joints are super hard to find and they are not on Stock X. So, you know, that's the big question. If you can get a shoe that's not on Stock Stock X, now you got to use some serious connections. And again, that uh, bottom there, we got the black hits with the tan and man i really do like these shoes i'm a really big fan i have another pair of adidas uh nmds that are pretty good that i use for running but they are nowhere on the level of these g1s speaking about futuristic models i think in the future i think we're going to see a lot more runners man because adidas is doing their thing 
You got A6 doing their thing. And man, it could be a wave. Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. So if, if you can see on this insole, it says right there, in plastic waste. I don't know if that's coming through there. But yeah, in plastic waste. So they got a huge program of recycled materials. And we did get two um, shoe trees. Sometimes with these uh, key models, they don't put the second shoe tree in there. Sometimes they just throw it out. So anyway, y'all, this is rare. One of one. I was going to sell this pair, but I'm like, dang, I might have to keep it because it, <laughs> it's super rare. And I've been trying to get it for a minute. And I did want to buy it, but they didn't have it in my size. So I went with a 10 and a half and sold that one. So anyway, y'all, man, we appreciate y'all so much for tuning in and rocking out with us, man. Remember, uh, you know, life is precious. And if you're having a bad day, remember, there are more good days than bad days, y'all. So remember, man, always have a positive attitude and keep doing all those good things for those people in our lives that do all those good things for us, y'all. And remember, the same way Kanye said, and I heard him say, nothing's ever promised tomorrow today. Man, make sure you wear your shoes because you don't know what could happen tomorrow. So, man, we appreciate y'all so much for tuning in and rocking out with us. And so, man, if we can't catch you on the flip side, we got to catch you in the next one.